Sunday, what am I doing? I'm answering the question, what do vegans snack on? Hi guys and welcome, my name is JB Rose, singing vegan mum, how are you all doing? If you've never seen me before, my name is JB Rose, I'm a singer, I'm a vegan and I'm a mum. Now what do vegans snack on? A few episodes ago I made a really simple recipe made out of kale, kale crisps and this is how I made it. All you simply do is get your kale, you wash your kale, you then dry it, add a little bit of olive oil, season it with anything you like. I season it with smoked paprika but you could add garlic, whatever your flavours are. Five minutes in the oven and it crisps up beautiful kale crisp. That is one snack. And quite a few videos ago, maybe about, or maybe two years ago, I did a chickpea patty recipe which is to stop it from bursting bursting out. Here are all my patties. The chickpea patty which is also in my ebook which is available on my website www.jbros.co.uk. Now these look like peanuts but actually it's roasted chickpea. I've got some chickpeas, I dried them off, I added some olive oil, some garlic and some jerk seasoning. So this is peppery but delicious and crunchy. So instead of eating peanuts when you're sitting in front of the TV, you could be eating these roasted chickpeas, delicious. And the next thing I made was my own crisp. Now, if you're in America or other countries, you might call it chips, but we call it crisp over here in London. And it was a simple recipe, all I did. I got some carrots and beetroots and sweet potato. I used my potato slicer to thinly, thinly, thinly slice it. I put some olive oil and some flavors on it, some salt and pepper in the oven for 40 to 60 minutes. And it crisps up so nicely, delicious. And you've made your own crisps. I've used sweet potato, but you could just use normal potato. As I said, beetroot and carrot, absolutely delicious. It's a snack. And guess what? You know what you put in it. You know that you haven't put no additives in it. And you know the oil that you used was really, really good oil. The next recipe is a little bit more involved. It's not so much baking. I'm gonna show you, here it is. And let me show you how I made this. So here I have some really ripe planting, but all is not lost. You can really, really still use this. So I've peeled and split one of these well done planting. And then I have poured a little bit of olive oil over them. Now you can just put it on the baking tray and put it in the oven for 15, 20 minutes. But I want it quicker, so I am going to put mine in an air fryer. Again, it will cook it quicker, um, maybe like 10 minutes in the air. Uh, I've got that cooking for about 10 minutes. I have some sweet potato which I sliced. As you can see, I've got some chopped up garlic, some onions, and I've got some chestnut mushrooms which are also chopped up. And I'm going to fry these off gently. And all I'm going to do to season this is I'm going to use a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and then I'm just going to let that cook through nicely until it's really lovely and soft. So this is cooking away nicely, but this is what I forgot. Mixed herbs. Now you can use fresh, or I'm going to use my dried herbs. So uh, as you can see the planting is cooked beautifully and I'm going to stack it in a minute but first we've got one more ingredient which is the avocado. I'm going to smush it and that's going to be our base. And we're going to just squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice, oh, take out the pip. We are ready to build. So first of all, we're going to add the avocado. And then the next element is I'm going to add some uh, washed spinach leaves. So far, so good. Our sweet potato is sliced. And so again, we're going to add the sweet potato as a layer. So far, looking so good. Oh, onions, garlic, and mushrooms. I just put them. Still looking beautiful. Then we're going to add some 
spread onions. And there we are. Now drinks are just as simple. If you've got a smoothie maker, it's really, really delicious. This is the ingredients for my smoothie that I'm gonna make for breakfast, but I'm also gonna have it as a snack for the rest of the day. Some dates, some hemp seeds, some avocado, some nuts, some uh, frozen sea moss, some chai seeds, and then we're gonna add some coconut water. And this, I'm gonna open it for you. Oh, this is ashwagandha. Great source of protein, but also it's really good for brain health. So now I'm going to do the taste test of this lovely planting snack. Mmm! What an explosion of taste. You've got the avocado, you've got the sweet potato, you've got the planting, you've got the onions, you've got the mushrooms. It reminds me of the banana boat. Do you remember Wimpy used to do the sweet banana boat with the cream in the middle and the ice cream and the fruit? Well, this is another version. I have a very similar recipe to this in my ebook, Jay Rose Singing Vegan Mum. Check it out on my website. So, guys, this is my platter of snacks. Give it a try, and guess what? After you've snacked on all of this, you won't feel like you've overdone it, you won't feel bloated or anything like that. This is what vegans snack on. So, guys, I will see you next time for healthy vegan options. I'm your girl. I'm your girl. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. YouTube love it when you comment. See you next time.